Good day, everyone. Alice here from Sophie Financial Network. Today is May 22nd, 2023. Here is a uh, stock analysis for Palantir, which uh, recently had substantial move to the upside. So this is a weekly chart. And as you see here, we had pretty nice uh, price action last two weeks, especially uh, to the upside. But uh, before getting into the chart and we're getting into the technical analysis, I just want to say this stock shows me pretty bullish uh, structure, uh, especially for the next, uh, I should say, three to five months, even next year. And we can see stock is getting uh, kind of like a double probably at the best case scenario. But I should say it's going to give us uh, a decent gain based on the chart and based on the price action that I'm seeing. But before getting again to the chart, uh, let's go to um, deep dive into some volumes and uh, we can what we can see from the volumes. So here's the Palantir um, uh, uh, volume historical data for, for the volume. So basically, this is Yahoo Finance, guys. This is not a secret one. As you see, there are lots of apps. It's not just a professional website. It's just the Yahoo Finance, but it gives us very, very decent uh um, kind of like a data here. So if you go to the historical data and the average volume for Palantir is somewhere, something around like a 40 million per day. So if you see that um, since March, let, let's say uh, February 22nd, February 23rd, the volume is just a 41 million, 60 million, and it goes down to 17 million, 22, 34. So it's kind of like a ranging um, between 20 to 40 million. But if you look at here, so February 14 and February 15, volume spiked up substantially. 216 million February 14, 153 February 15. And if you go to the chart, here's the VIC that volume spiked up substantially. So this is the VIC. As you see here, uh, that volume spiked up. And after that, just recently, if you just scroll up, you will see here, we have another massive volume came to this stock. May 19, May 9, May 9 and May 10th, 223, 149 million. And recently, May 18, May 19, again, 171 million, 148 million for this stock. So as you see here, volume is coming back. Stock is kind of like at all time low here. And uh, lots of institutions, I believe, uh, they're coming back to this market and they're coming back to this stock substantially buying this. And I should say, this is the area of institution. An institution just buying a lot here and we should see a parabolic move or kind of like a decent price action to the upside based on the volume. Based on the chart, as you see here, this is weekly chart. We are getting back to kind of like a reading um, to the bullish momentum. Lots of people, they are just scaring off seeing RSI is getting back to the overbought, but overbought gets signals for very, very nice spike to the upside. And especially when we are seeing overbought at this breakout trend, we should see somehow price is getting back to the bullish momentum. And since like this ending diagonal is forming, MACD again turning back to the overbought condition and MACD shows kind of like a bullish momentum. And right now price is just engulfing above SMA 20 and SMA 50 on the weekly um, moving averages, which is fantastic just because all in all, uh, price action wise, indicator wise, and also uh, volume wise, we are seeing uh, the lots of bullish development happening in this stock. If you go to daily chart, uh, let's go to the daily chart. So as you see here, we have got a nice parabolic move to the upside. Right now, we got back into this supply, uh, supply area, which has been tested once, but right now we just uh, got back and reject it down. So this is kind of like a very, very uh, natural reaction. And I believe if we uh, consolidate here around $11, $12, we can see the next level is gonna be $13, which is kind of very, very important level for Palantir. 
we have a nice breakout uh, through this um, uh, ending diagonal. And right now, stock is on fire. And we should see more consolidation. And if more consolidation is coming, let me just show you. If more consolidation is coming, then we can see price is spiking up to $13, which is kind of like at this pivotal point and also this supply area. So if we get above this coming back down, back test, consolidating here, we should see another spike to here, which is $17 to $18. So that's the level that I'm looking for. And again, above this, if we consolidate here, above this, it's going to be this area, which is 18 to 21. I believe that's going to be the maximum target, at least for 2023. But uh, we don't know exactly how market is going to react. But this is the way that I'm looking for Palantir. So Palantir just forming pretty bullish volume-wise, price action-wise. I should say this stock can be one of the outperformer in 2023. So we will see how it goes. And uh, and again, just to keep an eye on the volume, keep an eye on the price action, keep an eye on the $11, $13, and $17 and above. Uh, I think, yes, that was a very, very quick one. I have got this speculative growth company in my portfolio. It's just somewhere around 1% because I don't want to be uh, burned out, but my uh, average volume... Um, and average price is somewhere around here, 10 to $11. Not sure about the pricing, but I just accumulate more about here and we'll see how it goes. If it goes well, it's going to be a good damn money for me, especially 1% portfolio doesn't burn out if it goes to zero, but if it goes to 18 to $20, that would be a good reward as well. Okay, if you like this video, please just smash the like button, subscribe to our channel and have a good one. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.